Okay, so, um, I have a very neat book haul. Um, I was going to wait till I got all of my books, but that was just going to be, like, part one and part two, because I'm getting, like, a whole bunch. They're supposed to come today, but they didn't. They still have two hours to come, but might come tomorrow. Hopefully not Friday, because I'm out Friday, then I have to go back to the post office to get them. Ugh. So, anyway, I went yesterday, I went to a store which they have 50 cents paper paper paperbacks and a dollar for hardcover um i was just going in there like i'm not gonna read these right away they're just you know next the uh, not next one oh my goodness the first one is secret of platinum 13 by eva butson i think in butson or something you will look to the name and this is more of a child children's series. So right there, it was like children's. So, but it sounds pretty good. Um, from what I can tell, it's about <clears throat> this is a magical. It says kingdom and this island, and it's hidden somewhere in the London's where London's busiest train stations. And so one day, unhumans live with mermaids, ogres, and mysterious creatures called mistmakers. And anyway, one day, um, a woman comes and kidnaps the prince. And so these four creatures, a wizard, a fae, um, an ogre, and a hag, go set out together and try to find them. And they have to do it without being, like spotted in London and it says and what if the prince doesn't want to go back so I thought this was going to be like it's going to be a good book even if it is like a younger kid's book but it'd be good um the next one I'm not really sure if it's children's or not it doesn't really sound that way it sounds more like it's for like a teenager maybe but I don't know um it's Mont Mergency Morgancy or something I don't know and this is the flyer gentleman. And this is by Eleanor Updale. Oops. And the cover looks mysterious. Um, it's also this is another one in London, London, 1875. Um, when a um, from what I can tell, there's a thief. He really like he steals things and everything. And then this brilliant young surgeon finds him and he's like dead. So he's back together. And so he goes on exhibits, um, as a medical thing. And, um, he overhears someone talking about, like, underground sewers and everything. And so he gets an idea. So he's, like, a gentleman, like, he's, like, rich and everything at, in the daytime. And then at night he's stealing through the sewers and everything. So, he has, like, two identities. So I thought this was going to be, it, it sounded interesting and everything, and this doesn't really sound more true, it sounds more like this. And today I went to my, what, my favorite bookstore, that's my five minutes away from my house, which is, they also gave me this thing, it's the bookworm, so I, I'm not going to show anything else because it tells you where it is and where I live, so yeah, that is where it is and they gave me the book because um i went there and i just wanted to get a really good book and then i saw a little princess by francis hudson burnett okay so i saw the movie and i love the movie um i've seen it twice and i still love it and this was only three dollars which was a good price they had another one, but it was written for, like, a younger, they had, like, and one interpreted for a younger audience. This one is more of the real one. So, I was so glad that I found this because I really love the movie. And the, hopefully the, um, book is really good, too. Um, so, it's a classic, too, apparently. There was Little Women, too, but I was, you don't even know what it's about. So, yeah. They also had the book thief there, but it was $8. It was 
and I only had eight dollars with me because it I didn't really look at that spot because I usually only look at one place in the bookstore. And today I actually went around and I seen which some spots are. Um I right now I'm liking the one spot that's right over near the counter in the youth's YA section, so and they did have like they had the vampire diaries there too. Um, so anyway, the quick one is where you can, you can, um, trade and you can, I guess you can sell them. I never knew if you could sell them, but if it was me, I would trade to get more books so I can read. So yeah, that is also... That is also my... Little mini book haul. Three books. Um, I'm hopefully getting Mockingjay Friday. I don't know. Oh, I just have so much. Then it's coming in the mail. So I hope you liked my um mini haul. And I'll see you later. And thanks for watching.